second time in office as governor in 2011, the period of His Excellency Papabio's time in office resulted in uncommon transformation of fortunes of the state in every single sector, placing Akwa Ibom State definitely on the national stage as one of the premier destinations for investment and tourism. In 2015, Akwa, uh, Senator Akpabio contested and won the Senate seat of Akwa Ibom Northwest Senatorial District given the mandate to represent his people in the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He was further nominated by his peers and colleagues for the position of Senate Minority Leader, a position he held until his resignation and subsequent defection to the Party of Progressive, the APC, in 2018. In July 2019, he was called on by Mr. President Muhammad Buhari to serve in the Federal Executive Council and on confirmation by the National Assembly sworn in as a Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for Niger Delta Affairs. In June 2022, Apabio resigned no, 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 no. a position to contest in the presidential primaries of APC. He ultimately shaved his ambition and threw all his support behind Go ahead. We are reaching you straight uh, direct from the floor of the Senate where the election of presiding officers of the 10th Senate has just commenced. Well, the person reading on the floor is uh, Senator Aline Dume, who just nominated uh, Senator Gotula Babio to stand in as candidate for the president of the 10th Senate. At the moment, he's reading his biography. On his achievement for his previous spell at the National Assembly. Distinguished colleagues, it is my utmost honor and privilege to now present to you His Excellency, Senator Godwill Obot Apabio for the Senate Presidency of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Where is he? Please stand up. Thank you. They are senators elect. Yeah. Any seconder? Senator elect. Arise to second the nomination of Senator elect Goswil Obot Akabu to take the seat of the President of the Senate of the 10th Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I so second. My name is Solomon Adiola Olamilikon, Senator-elect representing Ogun West. Senator-elect Godwin uh, Pabio. Thank you. And there are further nominations. Senator elect. The clerk of the National Assembly is CNA. The clerk of the Senate. Distinguished colleagues, senators elect. My name is Senator Ishiaku Abo. I represent the good people of Adamawa North in the 10th Senate. Arise on my feet to nominate.
distinguished senator elect Abulaziz Yari to do take the chair in the Senate as the president of the 10th Senate. Distinguished colleagues, Senator Abulaziz Yari was born on 1st January 1969 in Talata Mafara, Zamfara State. Abulaziz Yari, of course, is the immediate past governor of Zamfara State, though not very immediate. He served between 2011 to 2019 on the platform of APC, ANPP, which subsequently became the APC. As I said earlier, he was born in Zamfara State. He attended Talata Mafara Township Primary School went to Government Teachers College, Bakura, Zamfara State, attended Sokoto State Polytechnic, then Sokoto State, and went also to KB Polytechnic for his higher national diploma. Distinguished Senator Ablaziz Yari is a alcoholic, detribalized Nigerian, an honest man, gentleman to the core, and with this, I have the honor of presenting to the 10 senators elect distinguished Senator Ablaziz Yari to do take the chair as the president of the 10th Senate. I so move. No point of order. No point of order. Because it's a purely, purely an academic exercise. So why should we waste our precious time? Why should we? Yes, because it is section 60 of the, of the 1999 Constitution as amended, gave us the power get the Senate the power to regulate its proceedings. And based on this, based on the city of the Constitution, these rules were made. As order three, sub rule two, sub rule one, two and three is very clear and unambiguous as to the, as to who is eligible to be president of the Senate. So we must go by the literal interpretation of order three, rule two, so from one, two, and three. The constitution is the grand number of the land. And therefore, we should, be, we should abide by the provision of the constitution. Because whatever we do in respect of this nomination is an exercise in futility. Why should we waste the precious time of the Senate? Mr. Clark, let us say for the record. For the record. For the record. Because whatever we do is an exercise in futility. You cannot put something on. I'm not going to
National Assembly, very distinguished. The clerk of the National Assembly, the clerk of the Senate, my very distinguished. Or the Federal Republic of Nigeria. My names are Jimo Honoransho Ibrahim from Ondo South. I second the nomination on the floor raised by Senator Abo. The clerk of the National Assembly. Uh, Dr. Jimo Ibrahim, Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator elect out Central District, I second the motion on the nomination made by Senator Abo in respect of the chair of the Senate nominating Abulaziz Yari. I so second. Mr. Clark, <clears throat> distinguished colleagues, Armen Ablaziz Awakariari, I represent the good people of Zampara West. Mr. Clark, I'm from Zampara State. I first accept the nomination of Ishako Abo to take the seat of the Senate President of the 10th National Assembly. Mr. 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 Clark. Yeah, what you can see on the floor there is a, a little uh, misunderstanding, so to say. But the issue is that after El Senator Elisha Abu from Adama State nominated uh, Ablaziz Yari to stand in as candidate for uh, the office of President of the 10th Senate, uh, some of the senators raised point of order. But however, the order, standing orders of the Senate provide that there's nothing like motion, raising of motion or petitions on, on a day like this. But they are saying that uh, Senator Ablaziz is not qualified to contest for the candidate of uh, President of the Senate because he's not a former senator. But from the standing rules that we have here, order two, subsection two says senators who had been members of the House of Representatives can as well stand in as candidate of President of the Senate. Please, order, please. Okay. Order, please. Are there further nominations? Are there for that nominations? Are there for that nominations? Three times. I've said it. In the absence of further nominations, I declare nominations closed. The next. That is the clerk to the National Assembly, uh, Magaji Tambowa, just announcing that uh, only two candidates have been nominated so far. So he has declared the nomination closed. But what is uh, interesting here is that two uh, other candidates, who as of yesterday were still interested, the chief, former chief whip of the Senate, Ojizokalo and Osita Isnaso, it appears they've all stepped down. 
we are now going to proceed for the election. And the election is in accordance with Order 3, Sub 3, E. Now, I will now call the clerk of the Senate. Where, okay, where are the ballot papers? Show the, where are the box? Where is all this? Is? Show them nothing in the. Yeah. The, the ballot papers. You will wait. You will be signing. You will be signing at the back. Hey, you. Then you give him. Show them. Show them the ballot papers. Oh. Okay. We have two cubicles, one at the right, one at the left. We now collect your, when they call your name, you come forward to collect your ballot paper. Go and write the name clearly of the candidate of your choice. Come and cast your vote. I will now call the clerk of the Senate to call state by state district, senatorial district on alphabetical order. Clerk of the Senate. The clerk to the National Assembly, I now proceed, not, not now, not after voting, the clerk to the National Assembly, I now, I now proceed to call on Senators to come for voting. We'll start with Abia State, Wo Culture Darlington, come forward please, Carlo O.J. Ozo, Abaribe Enyin Naya Harcourt, Adamawa 